and we'll send that forthwith without objection. Thank you, Mr. LeBonge. Uh, we'll go back to public comment. Zuma Dog is our next speaker. He'll be followed by Matt Dowd. Good morning, Mr. Dog. Yes, good morning. Uh, first of all, I'd like to go on the record and say I love Bill Rosendahl. I like to say he's the greatest spirit I've met in my life, the most compassionate person, and I really love the guy. And nothing can ever take that away. And I hope I'm not in violation of code of conduct, because that is a personal comment and does not necessarily reflect the way I feel of him as a council member as pertaining to Venice Beach. And uh, we'll get to, you know, I'm not even going to talk about Venice Beach anymore. You know what? I got such a case that's going to crush you people. It's not about money anymore. I'm going to be teaching this municipality a historic lesson, the likes of which has never been delivered by any single individual. So batten down the hatches because it includes all of you. Now, Janice Hahn, let's get right to it. Uh, let's talk about Janice Hahn for Congress. I thought we just had Janice Hahn for Lieutenant Governor. Doesn't Janice Hahn want to be council member? Who is representing the district? How many days is Janice Hahn going to be taking when she's running for council? How many quorums will be missed because you're short? Who is representing the Los Angeles? Uh, but who, who's representing the harbor? Who's representing the district when she is not here running for her second consecutive election? I want Janice Hahn to step down as council member and do the best job to become congressperson so she can get the hell out of this area. All right, now let's talk about pension fraud. Go to LACityNews.com because Zuma Dog is blowing the roof off of pension fraud as it relates to Antonio Villaraigosa, the CRA. And if I was looking into it, I'd look into Ron Burkle, Willie Brown, Richard. Richard Reardon, Richard Alatori, Richard Zyman. What is it with the name Richard? And uh, when we can look at a Mike Ruse, Victor McFarland, I'm tearing it down. It goes to the CRA, Henry Cisneros, HUD housing. Where's that going to point? You don't want to settle with me, I'm going to mess you up. Sir, we'll be warned about a th threat there at the end. If you'd like to express your opinions, we're happy to hear them. But please avoid, avoid any threats. Matt Dowd is our next speaker. Sir? You just been disruptive of the meeting, and I want to establish that on the record by swearing to this group and by talking when we have other people going. I've been trying to be very respectful, sir, that you have the ability to express your opinions, uh, but when you start threatening folks, especially in this environment, we will take that extremely seriously. If you can please remove Mr. Dodd from the council chambers for today. Arnold Sachs is uh, going to follow Mr. Dowd. Yeah, first of all, that's another as applied. John Walsh goes batty and nuts and goes crazy here, and you give him all these three warnings. That's your final warning, Mr. Walsh. Now sit down. So thank you, city attorneys, if you're watching that one. Eric Garcetti, selective enforcement of the code of conduct. Why? Because we sued it. It's garbage. It's vague. It's unconstitutional. You're sitting up there with those flags of the United States of America. Sir, if you could address the council as a whole, please. I am addressing the council. Look at this fool. He's trying to wreck the city Sir, even more than you have already. And we'll be warned of items of a personal nature. Please, if you can give us your opinions today, it's we'd be about happy to your hear performance. them. Get and we ask you to please respectfully address the council today. Respectfully, it's about your performance as the president of the city council. You're it's pathetic. It's woeful. You're hopeless. You're wrecking everything. The city's going down the tube. I'm putting your... I'm, see, you just don't get it. We tried to make a settlement with you and make a good one and do it all good and your attorney promised us, oh yeah, we'll take care of this. So when are you going to start being fair and level with everybody instead of paying two million for a guy who ate a bit of dog food? And I brought the performers in here two and a half years. You took away our income. How do we pay for our cost of living and then parking tickets and all these things from performers, Bill Rosendahl? He knows about it. Tell him to sort this out. You know, Eric Garcetti here is trying to run for mayor coming up too. Guess what? We'll do everything we can to derail that. Janice Hahn, anyone, we don't even care anymore because we tried to do the right thing now, like Obama said after what happened in Arizona. Arnold Saxon.